It is one of the bridges that carries thousands of people into Providence every single day. But the Washington Bridge needs some crucial rebuilding. And within the past hour, state officials broke ground on this new project. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joining us live in East Providence with the update. Brittany. Well, Danielle, the event just wrapped up minutes ago with shovels still in the dirt here. The $78 million project now underway includes widening this highway and adding new bridge structures. The project will also add an additional lane to the bridge, along with building a new exit ramp to Waterfront Drive in East Providence. Rhode Island's Department of Transportation says it will address structural deficiencies lead to traffic backups, especially during the morning commute. The bridge was built in 1969 and sees around 96,000 vehicles a day. According to DOT, it's one of the busiest sections of Interstate Highway in Rhode Island. In 2019, the state's congressional delegation secured a $25 million federal grant to help the bridge overhaul. DOT says when this project is done, the average morning commute from the state to 195 or sorry I-95 will be trimmed by about 40 percent. Governor Dan McKee says upgrades won't just help with travel. And we know that infrastructure is one of the top things that we possibly can do to improve our economy. Business friendliness depends on it and our objective is to make our state a very small business friendly state. And DOT says that 40 percent cut can cut the morning commute from the state line to I-95 from 16 minutes to about nine minutes. Now this project is expected to be completed by summer of 2026. For now live in East Providence, I'm Brittany Shaper, 12 News.